Hey what's up everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to customize pin mapping settings for your HOT42 controller. Before you start, the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to the HOT42 website, click on support, and make sure you have the latest firmware installed. This is a super important step so please don't skip this. Follow the instructions on their website and once you have the firmware installed, continue watching this video. Next thing you'll want to do is plug one end of the USB into your PC. This will put the controller into edit mode where you can change your settings. Next, open your web browser and type in 192.168.7.1. This will take you to the GP2040CE settings. Click on settings and choose your preferred input mode. Next, I recommend switching the profile to profile number 2. This way, if you make any mistakes, you can easily switch back to profile 1. Then go to configuration, pin mapping. Here you'll be able to map your buttons and set which each one does. Click the pin viewer and push the button on your controller to figure out which pin corresponds to the button you're pushing. Once you have that figured out, you'll be able to easily adjust and set any button to anything you like. There are many different combinations and customization options you can come up with, but this is going to come down to personal preference and the game that you play. In this video, I'll show you my settings for both Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8. Once you've set your buttons to whatever you like, make sure you scroll down to the bottom left of the page and hit the save button. Then go to the top right corner and hit restart. Then hit controller. This will put your controller back into its regular plug and play mode. So here are my recommended settings for Street Fighter 6. On the most bottom button, I have playback save state. And then on the bottom button below medium kick, I have it set to DI. This makes pushing DI really easy because you can do it with the edge of your thumb without having to reposition your hand. I love this setting and I highly recommend it, so give it a try. Tekken 7 has some really great pin mapping options. On the bottom below right kick, I have it set to forward, and on the button above left punch, I have it on back. This allows you to do easy Korean back dashes and really easy wave dashes. Also, this makes doing things like Electric Wind Godfist super easy with just the press of two buttons. And I know what you're wondering, is this tournament legal? And the answer is yes. That's because I have the left analog stick set to these buttons and not the D-pad. Basically, this just replicates exactly the same thing you can do on a regular PlayStation controller. So as far as I've searched, this is tournament legal. Anyways, give it a try. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care.